As a teenager, Dikhang Moseneke was sent to jail for 10 years. He used the time to study and to start his journey towards a career in law. As a new attorney, he defended thousands of young people accused of involvement in the 1976 uprisings. Not a single one was convicted. He's written about that time in his autobiography, My Own Liberator. Their position was that they, they had themselves to fight because their parents appeared to have been subdued by the repression of the, of the 1960s. Massive arrests, deaths in detention, people fleeing the country. And these young people were quite determined to have a rolling kind of resistance. Um, and strangely, the fear for prison had come to zero, to nothing. You write in the book that those student uprisings were essentially not just about education and Afrikaans as a medium of education, but was essentially a proxy for a revolution against a state that was repressive. And given that you're now the Chancellor of Witz, how do you understand the protests that we are seeing now for Fees Must Fall? Young people have almost an inbuilt sense of right and wrong. And it has been shown historically in my time, in 1976, in the 80s, and here we are, back again, where young people have risen. And usually all of us confuse the spark with the actual cause of the explosion. And no system can go on forever with certain sharp contradictions, with social inequity. This is a call for reprioritization from young people. It's really a call for avoiding misgovernance. It's, it's a call for a society that is serious about moving itself from the dark alleys of apartheid and economic inequality to the bright lights of, uh, of greater promise and greater fairness in society. Moseneke, in his capacity as Witz Chancellor, says the university negotiated on the issue of tertiary education in a bid to articulate a common position at a historic General Assembly. But the Assembly was postponed indefinitely after negotiations broke down. I asked Moseneke about the violence that has characterized some of the protests. Violence is only justified when there are no other means legitimate to be able to advance societal transition and change. Every other time, discourse and protest, particularly within soft targets like universities, ought to be open because they are meant to be spaces of openness, of free movement of ideas. Um, and of contestation and of differences. But none of these should ever get to levels where, where we are. Moseneke's memoir tells the story of his extraordinary life. Ultimately, though, it's a plea for South Africa to find ways to deal with the massive social inequalities that continue to define life for the disadvantaged or to face the consequences. Karen Moore, Johannesburg. Yeah,